In today's lesson, we're going to be looking at financial math. So we're <clears throat> building on our understanding of percentages. So, but this time we're going to be calculating percentage profit and percentage loss. The learning intention is to calculate um, percentage profit and loss. And then you need to be able to determine if it is a profit or a loss. So has it gone up or down? Determine the percentage or the dollar amount change. So different questions will ask you whether you need to work out the percentage change or the dollar change. And then some questions will also ask you to determine what the new price is or what the end result is. All right, so for this first one, we're asked to find the percentage change from $24, which has become uh, $38. So the first thing we need to do is we need to work out how much it's changed. So to do that, we're going to go 38 take away 24. That'll give us the change. And the change is $14 and it's become an increase. Okay, so it's gone up $14. So then what we need to do is we're gonna get our 14 and we're gonna put it over the starting value, which was 24, to work out what the um, percentage change has been. Okay, so we're gonna put it over that and we're gonna times it by 100 to make it a percentage, okay? So on the calculator, I'm gonna type 14 divided by 24 times 100. So that's 14 divided by 24 times 100. That's going to be 58 point, we can say 0.3% if we round it. Okay, so find the change, write it as a fraction of the starting value, type it in the calculator and you'll get your percentage. And I should say that this is actually a percentage increase. Okay, it's important to note whether it's an increase or a decrease. Okay, for this second example, a desk cost $75 and then it was sold later for $115. Find the profit. So the first step to find the profit is what it's sold for, take away what you bought it for. So it's gonna be 115 minus 75. Okay, if you don't know what that is in the top of your head, you can use a calculator. So the person who bought and sold this they've made a profit of $40, okay? The th second thing we're asked is the profit as a percentage of the cost. So we know the profit is 40. As a percentage of the cost means we put it over the cost and we're gonna times it by 100, okay? So to do that on the calculator, it's 40 divided by 75 times 100. So that's gonna be 53.33 percent um, increase and the last thing we're told to do is find it as a, a profit as a percentage of the selling price so the profit is still 40 but this time we're doing it out of the selling price we're still going to times by 100 I'm not sure if you can see that but I've got times by 100 there so then I'm going to go 40 divided by 115 times 100 34.8 Okay, so for this question, we've got Steve. Steve's music store operates at a fixed margin of 58%. How much would he sell a guitar for that cost him $200? Okay, so pretty much what this saying is, whatever Steve buys for his guitar store, he then sells it for 58% more. So everything is bumped up 58% so that Steve can actually make a profit in his business. So what we need to do, I've highlighted my key information. He has 100%, then he adds another 58% to it, okay? Because this is 100% of how much the guitar cost, and then he adds another 58% to it. So his selling price of the guitar is gonna be 158% of what we started with, okay? So we're gonna have 158% of $200. The reason this is bigger than 100% is because this is going to be more than $200 at the end. Otherwise, Steve's not making any money. Okay, so we change this to a decimal. If you don't know how to do that, watch our previous videos. So 1.58 times $200. I can do that on the calculator. 1.58 times 200 is going to be $316. Okay, so Steve buys the guitar for $200, sells it in the shop for 58% more, 
and the price of that guitar is $319 for the customer. Right, this time we've got Lucy. Lucy bought a snowboard for $450 and then she sold it three years later for a 30% loss. What was the selling price? Okay, so same with this one. We need to work out what the percentage change is, okay? So if it's a loss, that means we're going down, okay? He, Steve was going up, Lucy's is going down, okay? So she started with 100%, which was $450, but she's made a 30% loss. So 100% take away 30% is 70%. So we need to find out what 70% of $450 is because that's how much she sold it for 70% of the original price okay so 70% changes to 0 0.7 then we times those together I'm going to do that on my calculator 0 0.7 times 450 $315 so Lucy sold her snowboard $315 because she made a 30% loss. So our answer is going to be smaller than what she started with compared to Steve, whose answer was going to be bigger because he's at a shop. He's trying to make money at a shop, whereas Lucy bought it and then sold it secondhand. All right, so this one's a little bit different. So a store buys novels for $12 and then sells them for $19.95. What is the percentage profit. So in the last questions, we're asked for the selling price or things like that. But this time we're actually asked for the percentage profit. So this is actually similar to the very first question, except it's um, a worded problem instead. Okay. So what we actually need to do is we still need to figure out the change. So the change from 1995 from $12 is going to be 795. Okay, so that's the dollar amount that it's changing. It's going up $7.95 every time. So then we need to put that dollar amount over the starting amount. The starting amount was 12. Then we're going to times it by 100 because that's how you get a percentage. Okay, so remember this means divided by 7.95 divided by 12 times 100 is going to be 66.25% increase, okay? Because the bookstore is making a profit, so they're increasing their price, okay? So if we think back to our learning intention and success criteria, it was to calculate percentage profit and percentage loss, okay? So we needed to work out the change. So whether that was the change in the dollar amount, like in this question, or a change in the percentage amount, like some of the previous questions. And then we need to write that as a fraction for this scenario and work out what the change is, okay? If you can do all of those things, then you've met today's success criteria.